as you can see, uh, we got a box here. Looks like it does have an RMA number on it. Uh, this is an example of an incorrect way to package uh, a return with us. Uh, as you can see, this is the actual uh, manufacturer's box, which, you know, when we need a return, we need an external box. So technically, this would go inside. Uh, this would go inside another box. You, know, you can use you know, similar packaging box like this. Uh, we've got the packing material here. Uh, you know, we've got a system which I'm going to show you how to properly package, um, uh, you know, to return to us as well. Right, moving along uh, with this package box, which we already know is packaged incorrectly, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Anyways, uh, let's see what we got in here. So now we have this uh, manufacturer box, which is inc uh, incorrectly shipped already, but I just want to go ahead and show you a, uh, an absolute must of what not to do. You can see the system is uh, not in an external package. It's not in its original packaging at all. Uh, you know, this can definitely be means for you know, damaged equipment moving around. Uh, we've got the contacts, so it pretty much looks like all of the original packaging is completely missing. And this is a perfect example of, you know, what we do not want. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the proper way to package a uh, return box back to us. Uh, so we have our packing material here. And what we're going to do is take this bubble wrap. All right. I've already cut it out to, you know, fit the box correctly. And, you know, you see all of our, uh, all of our equipment is still in its original boxes. Each of them come individualized. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the largest package, of course. Uh, this is the actual uh, wireless 2 gig Go Control, uh, which you can find on our website. I'm going to go ahead and line that up there, make sure it fits in there snug. All right, and I'm going to take all the other equipment, again, which is in its packaging. We're going to go ahead and slip it in there. It still has bubble wrap underneath of it. All right, now we got to make sure that everything fits in the box, of course which we can do like so. All right, so now we have all that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little extra bubble wrap on top of the system itself. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fit some more packing material over the accessories for the system. All right, so that looks good. That looks like, you know, it, when it ships, if, you know, it hit any bumps or anything like that, it should be packaged correctly. All right, and then all you got to do is go ahead and put some tape along here, uh, follow the steps uh, that we originally went through, and um, and yeah. So then, just uh, once you receive that RMA confirmation email, you're going to go ahead and take a permanent marker. You're going to write the RMA number on there, as well as the uh, information to get it back to us. Uh, again, this is Brad with GRM 